Hello everyone! Today we're going to be talking about something that occurred in a video um, four months ago. Um, it was the video about the fake pendulum clock where I uh, like the video was titled uh, Have a Guess With Me um, or okay, Guess With Me was the title of the video where I basically showed uh, a clock that had something weird about it and you basically had to guess that it was a fake pendulum clock uh, but there was something with the dial of that clock that a good friend of mine Fluttershy pointed out and uh, on the dial the number 4 was um, represented by four eyes instead of the normal I and a V um, from the Roman numerals and that is something you see on a lot of clocks including um, Cuckoo's clocks you see that on uh, but also some French clocks and even all the sundials and uh, of course on Vienna regulators because the fake French clock I showed there is basically a copy of a Vienna regulator so, why do they do that? That's basically what I'm going to be talking about in today's video. Why do they represent the four by four eyes instead of the I and a V? And I'm not really going to give an answer in this video because there is no real answer. Um, there are multiple theories about why it is, but we don't have, really have a definite answer. Uh, this is because they have been making clocks and even sundials with four eyes instead of a V and it's been for so long that basically by now nobody knows why. So I'm just going to go over f a few reasons, there are more, but I'm going to talk about the main reasons just to give you an idea where it all comes from. So, one of the first reasons is that it's just more elegant to have the four eyes instead of the I and the V. Um, and yeah, that is true. It is much more elegant. And definitely for things like a Vienna regulator, which are very elegant clocks, it is, um, it works. There is definitely a difference there. The dial would look completely different if uh, it would be an I and a V. Another reason that it's kind of more elegant, some people talk about that the dial looks more symmetrical, but that is something I do not follow completely because the dial is never going to be symmetrical. But more elegant, yes, I can, I can definitely agree on that. Another reason is that it's easier to manufacture. Definitely back in the day when numerals on clocks were um, cast, like in mold, in simple mold, I can see that like the four times I instead of the I and the V, um, it's easier to cast. And that's also, yeah, that, that's something I really can put myself behind. Um, then there's the story about um, Louis XIV who um, calls in like a watchmaker and he says like there's something wrong with the dial and the watchmaker says like no uh, like that's the way the four should be but that Louis XIV um, wanted it that way um, yeah that's maybe why French clocks are like that. Um, what I do know is that there were certain periods in France where they wanted to go back to like the older times, um, like Roman times. And that's one of the other reasons, um, and that's probably the most plausible reason we ever started with the four eyes instead of the I and the V and that is that the in Latin 
the Roman god Jupiter is first two letters R and I and a V and the thing goes that out of respect they did not use an I and a V on sundials out of respect for Jupiter's name so yeah that are four reasons I picked out those are the four common reasons that are um, for most common reasons that are called for the use case of the four eyes instead of the I and the V. But like I said at the start of the video, nobody knows, we will probably never know why, unless we find some tablet with, with an inscription on that specifically tells why we ever started doing it. But yeah, um, that is it. Um, there are many more reasons. There are probably even new reasons that come up for this question. But this is just like, like I said, the four main reasons um, that come up, which I can put myself behind. So yeah, there you had it. Um, that was my explanation of it. Um, for a few videos in a row, a bit of a different format. Um, please let me know what you think about this video, either by commenting or just give me a thumbs up. If I if the video has a lot of thumbs up, I know that um, my view is like this, um, so I can get some feedback. And uh, for the rest, um, yeah, I hope you uh, like this video. Um, that you enjoyed it, you found it informative, and um, yeah, uh, I hope to see you in the next video. Uh, probably back to the regular format, and um, yeah, thanks for watching.